So here's a bucket where I've been keeping the bones of a raccoon for the past six months. The process is called maceration, and essentially you just leave the animal in water until all the soft tissue dissolves and you're just left with bones. And it's honestly pretty disgusting. After all the tissues dissolve, you soak the bones in a solution of dish soap and then later ammonia, and that helps remove any grease that's stuck to them. Much, much later. Once your bones are degreased, which takes maybe a week or two, you're going to want to whiten them. And the best way to do that is to use hydrogen peroxide. You can use peroxide that you get from the grocery store or the drugstore, but it's a lot faster if you use the stronger stuff you can get from beauty supply places. The next day. Sometimes your bones will be fully bleached after just a day, but other times, depending on how stained they are, it might take two, three, four, or even five days. For the project I'm working on right now, I wanted this joint to be mobile, and so I'm adding some brass pins and some springs. The springs provide tension to the joint and keep it together, but allow it to move. I don't want the springs to be able to pop off while the joint is moving, so I'm going to solder these brass nuts onto the brass rods. Now I'm adding rods and a third spring that are going to act as a cantilever, and that's going to keep the joint from flopping down due to gravity. You might notice that I switched to a different flux here. I did that because the rosin flux wasn't quite working as well as I wanted it to. So here I'm using plumber's flux. This is fine for this application, but you wouldn't want to do this on electronics because plumber's flux can be corrosive if it's not washed off. I'm just adding a couple drops of super glue here, and that's to keep the rods locked in place because I don't want them coming out. In hindsight, this looks a lot more suggestive than I was intending, but um, whatever. I'm going to be adding electronics to this in the near future, so I'll probably have a video on that maybe next week or so. So keep your eyes out for it. Thanks for watching. Bye!